Hey guys, I'm here. Um, today I am showing you how to make a little thing where you can type in text right here, and then you and then like this is English. I don't know what this one exactly is yet. This one's French, this one's Spanish, and this one's Italian, as you can see. I could have, I couldn't, well, I could have put the shortened version from this app, like IT, but then it would have just said submit, submit it, then you wouldn't think that it was Italian, so put Italian on the bottom, you can talk, but it won't, but I made it so that you're supposed to make it so that when it talks, it it recognizes your voice and puts what you said here, but it still won't put it there, but it, was, it still will translate. Ah, job. <laughs> but what you are going to need is actually a lot, so this is probably going to be split up into two or three parts. So yeah, this is only if you want all of the languages that is available on here. So, in total there is uh, um, apparently five. Including English, sadly. But that means you can still use it to translate other languages to English. So, oh yeah, and also, I usually make the webcam thing, like, show after. If I'm going to do a screen recording on my phone showing you how it works. So, first you are going to want to drag out a label, put it at the top, and put it text to be, and write in it text to be translated next you're going to want to get out a text box which is down here oh wait that's not a text box here it is then you're gonna probably want to make it pretty big for if they have a lot of things to translate next you're gonna want to get another label and put translated text which should be under it then another text box <laughs> and then you're going to if you want to have all of these you're going to want to go to layout and drag out two horizontal arrangements it doesn't matter which order and then drag out six buttons into them three in each and a hundred width for all the buttons this needs to unwind this needs to be hard to get past it <laughs> but yeah so I have all of that already. We are also probably going to want to rename all these the ones that they are. Like I renamed this talk, talk, submit English, clear, submit whatever that one is, submit French, but only a far, submit Espanol or um I can't remember it now Spanish, and then submit Italian. Then next you're going to want to go back to media and then drag in, well click and drag out speech recognizer and Yandex translate. They will be down here under non-visible components. And that is actually all you even need. But also you're going to want to make sure that it says not scrollable because you do not want it to be scrollable so that's all we have for the, this part you can make it be different colors make the, make the screen have a different background color all that but that is it for that part now for blocks that will blow here we go yeah this this is gonna take a little bit of work for you guys to do by yourself it, took me a little bit for me to figure it out. We worked on this for about one or two days now. But yeah. So first you're going to want to get out your one talk click like I have. One clear click like I have. And then your submit one click. Actually no only drag out once when submit. As you can see, you just have to drag out this one submit or whatever one it is. You can always just duplicate it and then pick one of them. When submit Espanol, click call 
Yandex Translate 1, which is under Yandex Translate, it's this one. Click and drag that out for under it. And then your and then for whatever language it is, you're going to want to go to text, click and drag that out to the language to translate to, type in ES or whatever language it is. By the way, these are all the languages in the app that I'm pretty sure that I can use. And then you're going to want to go to your text box one, which is the one that you are um that you are typing in the thing that needs to be translated. Go to text box one text, click drag that out, and then you're done for that part. Then you're just going to want to duplicate it. Click this and then pick whatever the next one is. Then change this to that one's little shortened version of it. And yeah, for all five that that was a lot of duplicating and changing that little part. Next, you are going to want to go to Speech Recognizer. After getting text, you are going to want to go back into the Yandex Translate. Click and drag that out. Oh crap. Well, crap. <laughs> Looks like this is only for a spaniel or uh, Spanish. Well, you can set this to whichever one you want to automatically translate it to it, or when you hit the talk button. Um, I kind of forgot about that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I because you can't exactly put in more than one for doing it because then it would just pull up a bunch of them so yeah um, I'm sorry <laughs> but then you're going to want to get a text box out click and drag that out to put it right there and then type in the two letters for whatever one you're doing in this case I could just do DE to enter, hit text, get text to translate, but it has to be under the speech recognizer one, and then hover your mouse over result, click and drag out, get result, look, it has that thing where it means that it won't work, but once it's under this thing, that little thing is gone, crap, see, this thing right there, because that's from this guy, so, but when I put it up there where it originates from, the warning goes away. But yeah, that is that part. <laughs> and then you're going to want to go to text box 2, which is the translated one. Go to, go to set text box 2, text 2, and then go back up here and get the result. Then, of course, put it under the speech recognizer if you haven't already. I just need to delete it now because I've already done it. <laughs> um, next, you're going to want to go down to Yandex Translate. Click and drag out the Win Yandex Translate 1 Got Translation. Go to Text Box 2, which is the one where it already has, which is the one where it has translated it. Dra click and drag out set Text Box 2, Text 2. And then hover your mouse over this and click and drag out get translation. And then it is just all done. And I will show you next time on a video from my phone that it works from the screen recorder on my phone. So yes, thank you guys for watching. If you liked it, please hit the subscribe button and the like button. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!